upright. Right, here today we have a Suzuki T20 uh, Suzuki two-stroke twin. Obviously this is the Super 6 um, and obviously it's a 1967. So yes, 1967. So probably one of the oldest bikes that we've had in stock. Um, classic bike, obviously you can start from the basics if you like, but obviously two-stroke, air-cooled, carburetted, uh, two-stroke twin, uh, mixed with hob front and rear brakes. Also got alloy rims. Uh, this one has been slightly modified. Obviously you've got the clip-on bars. Uh, I believe the uh, alloy guards are extra as well. Uh, bike was sat in a private collection for a new number of years, several years, and it was just literally a part of a static display. Uh, we've then obviously obtained the bike from the collector. Uh, we've recommissioned the bike, so gone through the bike. Um, so obviously, you know, just gone through it, checked everything, make sure the bike runs fine. New battery, oil, plugs, everything you need. Check the wiring out. Obviously, everything works as it should do. Um, yeah. So obviously a quite rare machine these, uh, don't see many around. Um, and then I'll just go through the general condition of the bike. So, again, always hard to tell whether the paint works original on a bike of this age, because the chances are it will have been painted at some stage. Uh, chrome does actually look reasonably original. As I say, there's a bit of the pickling, uh, or just signs of normal wear as you'd see on the front mudguard. Obviously alloy rims. They actually look like Barami rooms, so yeah, they are age-related Baranis on there by the look of it. Standard exhaust, not been replaced. Uh, and obviously you can see we've gone through with new jets and stuff in the bike. Uh, obviously cleaned all the carbs out. Again, I would say at some stage it looks like the frame has been stove enameled, because obviously that's very, very clean. Uh, I say rear mid guard. You say that has got obviously signs of corrosion on there and obviously uh, the chromes are obviously probably either need replacing or re-chroming repairing and re-chroming chainless sprockets all are actually relatively new so i think they were probably replaced some time ago uh, don't have the rear foot pegs but as you can see they literally just screw straight into uh, the brackets there through the exhaust so a universal set will probably fit straight on there see on this one again new jets and stuff been fitted to the bike uh, looks like the end of the fuel tap has come off at some stage but it doesn't stop it being used it's just not as long as it was and as you see new plugs new gaskets on the exhaust so as I said we've just gone through and recommissioned the bike really and say so the bike has been ridden by one of our technicians who said it rides lovely low on there I think that bottom one might be for the horn it is not sure what the other one would have been but obviously there's nothing in there at the moment but you got your high and low and your horn 